here the frugal crafter today i have a very quick tip for you and it deals with pastel paintings um i just showed you how to paint this the other day and um i get asked a lot about spraying my pastel paintings with fixative so they don't smudge i'm not a big user of fixative i don't really like to use it because if you spray it and if you have a lot of like light colored areas it'll make those lights um get transparent and kind of disappear and i like to work on colored surfaces a lot like this matte board scrap um so when you use fixative on a painting you've done on a dark surface or colored paper it really makes your picture kind of fade away um if you're working on light paper and it doesn't so much it'll actually intensify your colors but when you're working on colored surfaces it does make it fade away especially your lights so what i do instead um if, if this was like a great piece of artwork and i wanted to hang it up i would frame it under glass you always want to go under glass because um the little par particles of dust there the plexiglass or plastic will it has like a, a static charge and it will pull any loose little particles onto the plexiglass or plastic like if you had a plastic bag you were storing it in so you don't want to do that what you want to do is mat it but before you put the mat against your picture you want to like take a little trim little tiny skinny piece of mat board like a little scrap and put it around the picture i usually just glue it to the back of my mat and that way it makes a little air space between the mat and your picture so the dust can fall down between if, if it gets banged or anything and any dust comes loose it won't get on the edge of your mat but matte it under glass but you don't always want to frame everything so what i do if like um i'm working in a journal or i just want to store this for a later time until i decide to frame it or until i decided to give it away and um, what i do is i take a piece of deli paper this is also called dry waxed paper or you could use glassine which is kind of like um they make uh if you're a stamp collector rubber i'm uh, not a rubber stamp collector but a like stamp stamp collector they make these little bags out of it you know glassine i'm sure you've seen it before it's like um almost like wax paper but it's not so waxy or you can use deli paper and what i do is i just um fold it over my picture and this is great if you're mailing if you have to mail some and then what i usually do this one's kind of big so i probably would would uh cut it down i take a little piece of washi tape just because washi tape removes very easily it's a low tack adhesive and this is hearty hearts and rainbows see not pretty I found that at the dollar store the other day and I could not resist it. I bought two rolls of it and then I went back today. They didn't even have the display up anymore. It, they had obviously sold out or something because the display was completely gone. So I'm just, you can't even see that. Okay, so I taped it on the back. Okay, I taped the paper and then there it is. And then I would just fold this over and I'd set it in my portfolio or my print rack or something to just to keep it until I'm ready to figure out what I wanted to do with it. You know, not every picture is going to be framed. So that way you can keep it without having to fix it or worry about it smudging. So there you go. Quick tip of the day. Should have been quicker. Three minutes. I talked for three minutes about this. Oh, well, at least you know. And I did get quite a few questions about that. So I thought I would put it there for you. So you'd have it to refer back to, I guess. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.